I was originally going to place this information on the Hex I Am, which I wrote about 20 years ago, with the video I just made on the 22 Sophic radio points. However, that was before I realized that Thoth wanted me to do the transmission. And since that was so long, I decided to make this a separate video. So here we go. And it is very connected to the video I just made on the Sophic radio points. What do cetaceans and crystals have in common? According to the record of Thoth, they both communicate through an earth energy grid he calls the Hex I Am. This is a six-fold bandwidth of electrically charged impulses emitted from the crystalline matrix of the planet. Certain highly evolved creatures, such as cetaceans and Davic nature angelic beings that are invisible to us, including what we have come to mythologize as unicorns, communicate through the Hex I Am Earth bandwidth. The Hex I Am is spun into delicate webs of light song through piezoelectric action in the crystalline structure of this sphere. Creatures and high devas of the earth move light sound synthesis along these channels to not only talk to one another, but to build planetary dimensions other than the one we are currently aware exists. What is the purpose of this creation? The impulse to harmonize in the universe, to create bridges and paths to source. The Hex I Am is the physical energy field. The hollow crystal is the essence field. The 22 sophic radial points are the nerve centers that connect the individual's light and energy bodies from the mazaroth, which is the zodiacal field, to the mazaloth, or the heavenly light realm. The more in balance the individual's nerve centers are, the more contact can be made for them between these universal zones. The sophic level of substantiation, as Thoth calls it, is part of the hollow crystal, in which mind, body, and spirit become finely integrated and communicated forms of living light as one egg or crystal holographed through the creational waveforms of the universe. Those living beings who are currently outside of the hollow crystal, most humanity on Earth, are not in sync with this radiant pulse. On higher levels of their light structure, they are a part of the hollow crystal, but this is only a small fraction of their being that is maintaining that frequency. To truly dwell in the hollow crystal as the dolphins do, we must bring all our conscious and unconscious self-links into the no-cell field of the hollow crystal. There are certain points on the planet where the high devas, including cetaceans, seed their hollow crystal pearls. These pearls are gem thoughts composites of the finest light language songs which they weave through the hex I am. I am not simply speaking metaphorically here. These pearls are actual energy banded devic thought packages, humming at a frequency beyond human hearing, yet for the higher David creatures and beings, this hum is the symphony of life. Each pearl or package of gem thoughts is, as I said, finely woven. This means that the energy signals are synthesized to the most delicately braided quality, as to contain many orchestrations nested together in perfect symmetry and harmonics. The seed pearls are collected at specific energy nodes on the planet, too numerous to name them all here. An essential qualification for a pearl nodal point on the Hex I Am grid is a region that is especially rich in Davic activity, such as a tropical island or a rainforest. However, they are also found in locations that may seem more barren and yet are wealthy in crystal power, for the crystals contain Davic beings as well. Another source of hollow crystal seed pearls are what is known as blue holes in the oceans of the world. 
These are deep pathways under the sea that show from the surface of the water as especially deep blue. The blue holes create strong piezoelectric fields which the devas are attracted to in the hexion grid. Humans can interact with the crystals, cetaceans, other high devic beings through linking our crystalline DNA into the hexiam and most importantly into the essence field of the holocrystal itself. We can do this through asking for it and truly desiring this communication to create greater evolution of spirit for the earth and its entire population of life. Selfishness finds no part in this receptivity. One cannot find true connection into the holocrystal if they are simply seeking an exciting phenomena. The desire must come from the divinity within that calls us into true planetary service. As we link into the holocrystal in this manner, we eventually expand our own gnosis within that field rather than just piggybacking it as the initial linking will do. There are certain crystals on the planet that are within the care of humanity now which radiate the holocrystal light consciousness to a high degree and are a strong pathway of the hexion. Because humans are interacting with these crystals, this act is opening the seal between Davic and human once again. Let us all rejoice in the song of life that the Davic beings sing all around us. In this way, we will reclaim the gift of the hollow crystal. And so it is. Bringing us back to 2023, I would like to add a few things. One is the word hex. Now, if you Google it, it means a curse and all of these things. But according to Thoth, the true initial meaning of hex is to bring forth in consciousness and to do so in a repetitive, uh, deliberate manner so that life is being seeded from the Word. It is the Word of God, the Word of creation, the Word of the Elohim, the sacred Word that brings forth life, that brings forth generation of consciousness and creational form. The hex means to repeat that signal of life. Now, obviously, it was taken somewhere along the line to mean something bad. I think probably in the pagan days, the hex was um, a symbol of power because it's a powerful word, the word of God. And of course, then when the Christians and Judeo-Christians and all of those people got involved with it, they thought, oh my God, it must be evil you know, because it's coming from the pagans and they didn't understand it or they didn't want to understand it and they created it as a curse. Now that's not to say that you can't have curses, you know, uh, people can put the evil eye on you and all of that and say negative words that don't help you any. It's not something that's going to control you, but if you believe in it and you lean into it and you're not balanced enough, yeah, you could be, you know, cursed in that sense. But um, that's not what this is about at all. The true original hex is a power word of creational dynamics, and it's used only to, uh, to balance, to sustain, and to create out of the font of life. When I am is added to it, it is identifying I am that I am, the divine signal of spirit that resides in the flesh. So the hex the uplifting, repetitive energy that uh, is the force of creation is, is merged with the I am, the identification of the higher spirit of Godness within every living thing. And so the hex I am, as Thoth is determining it here, is a web, a weave of that creational font identified with spiritual cognition, consciousness, awareness of self and other. And it is a transmitting signal that defines and uplifts all 
living things. As we move into the Pyramidus Radius, the platform that we will build in order to be ready, to be prepared for the flashpoint of Light Principle 40 that takes us from a World System 1 into a World System 2. As we do this, we need a communication system. We need to be able to tap into the hex I am web, the weave, so that we can communicate with everything that is alive on this planet. And that includes crystals, because from the standpoint of the higher realms, minerals, uh, anything like that, it has a certain living frequency to it. And within the mineral kingdom, the crystals are the divine capstone of that frequency.